Uh, this here is a uh, very special car. It uh, looks like an El Camino, but it's actually a the GMC version called the Sprint. And this is a uh, Sprint Custom uh, with a 454 option, which was a very uh, rare model for the GMC. The GMCs themselves were rare. They only made like 5,000 of them. Uh, the GMC uh, Sprints with the 454, uh, they're saying the records look at uh, Daniel Carr is uh, an authority on these. He has uh, a couple of them, I believe. And uh, it's believed this car is one of the 19 that were ever manufactured. Uh, the original owner's family I've talked to, the original owner passed away, but the original owner's family I've spoke to and uh, up in North Texas uh, state that it definitely was a 454 car uh, when it was purchased new in Corsicana so uh, it has a lot of rust issues because it spent a lot of time in southeast uh, Texas which is common around here and these El Caminos especially uh, don't do well uh, in rust areas because especially with the bed the way it is it's gonna hold a lot of uh, moisture and water and cause lots of problems so so it has a lot of rust issues that need to be fixed. The floors, I've got those cut out and got floor pans. So you can see them up on top of the car, basically. ready. To, this one, the one on the driver's side, is ready to be put back in and welded in. Uh, the back of it's full of several different parts. Uh, when I got it, I had this 454 painted on the rear quarters. So somebody had added that uh, previously. And it's a cool cool car uh, original colors the cranberry red with the black stripes uh, same setup as the Chevelles uh, came with a automatic uh, 400 transmission uh, I didn't have the don't have the original motor or transmission which I wish I did uh, I can't really document this thing as a 454 because I don't have the motor and I don't have the build sheet for the car so so I'm just going on what the previous I mean the original owner uh, told me that it uh, was a 454 car uh, as of yet I haven't been able to document it uh, enough to where uh, it can be you know, undisputed as being a 454 but uh, all of the different things in the car point to it's being a big block car meaning it could have been a a 402 or a 454 car based on some of the equipment and stuff that it has on it and which is still a, a good thing because the uh, the all the big block cars um, in total I think there's around two almost 250 is all that were made of those so so that's still a very rare uh, model to have. The uh, interiors all kind of gutted out because I took out, cut out the floors. Um, no motor and transmission in it right now. I do have a 454 for it and a transmission, so I'll show you those here in a minute. Uh, that are ready to go go into it. It has uh, lots of rust in the lower parts of the quarter panels and the doors here and there, the front fenders, you know, it's, uh, but, you know, like I said in the opening, uh, I'm not looking to make a showroom, I'm looking to get it on the road. So mechanically is what I'm looking to do with these cars. I, you know, at this point, I don't care what the paint looks like. The interiors, I'll fix them is up to a point where they're roadworthy and uh, start driving them. That's, that's the goal. It's not to make a show car, it's to make something that can uh, go around and, and have some fun cruising with. Mm -hmm. 